Hey guys, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio up here, and we have another false warranty return. Uh, this unit was sent back saying that it's not changing tracks. Um, I have not opened it, but there's a few things wrong here. Uh, when you send this type of A Track, this needs to be removed. This piece here, that's a big old heavy piece that can get broken in shipping. That can also increase my return shipping costs. If the if I cannot get the unit safely into a flat rate box, then I have to put it into a bigger box and probably charge a lot more for shipping. Uh, also, there's a mounting here. These are need to be removed as well because that increases the effective size of the unit and could increase my shipping costs as well. Uh, both of these side ears should have been removed as well as this front piece and the knobs. Uh, that is clearly stated uh, in my packing instructions, and my packing instructions are referred to in my terms and conditions that the customer signs. So, uh, at any rate, I'm going to stop bitching and let's go ahead and uh, pop in the tape and make sure this thing is switching tracks. Okay, got to turn on my stereo again. My 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 receiver that is. It'll pop in in a second. There we go. Okay, track change. blank spot there it's changing every single time Okay, so there's a couple reasons that it may have happened. Possibly this button could have gotten stuck. Uh, this type of, it, it doesn't seem that it would stick, but you might want to check and make sure that the button's not stuck if it won't change tracks. Um, also, with the uh, converted radio running its full power, the radio itself draws about 10 amps uh, at, at loud volume, possibly up to 12 amps. Uh, this suddenly draws up to about six or seven amps possibly up to ten during a track change so if you're running both your radio and your eight-track on the same circuit which is probably the case chances are you're not getting enough current for the eight-track uh, switching uh, car wiring corrodes especially 50 year old car wiring and corrodes you've got connectors that are no longer making you know the best contact that they could so when uh, and this happens on Chrysler units too. The, the the car wiring gets old and corroded and will no longer supply the current for a track change even though the tape will play fine. So I would recommend just putting this A-track on a, on a different circuit that can supply more current because there's nothing wrong at all with a track change. Let's try it once more. And you know, let's smack this thing around a little bit. Just smack it around just to make sure that nothing could have gotten jarred loose to cause that problem. We'll plug it back, pop tape, tape back in turn my receiver back on it always blows out my receiver overload circuit and there we go so we're, we're switching just fine so so there we go there's nothing wrong with this a track player um the problem is definitely on the customer's end so um once again, this is the second warranty return I received in, in a one-week period that has nothing wrong with it. Uh, needless to say, um, I have to charge something for my time when this happens because it's you're making me do work that's that wasn't necessary. Uh, and I didn't charge for that work, so I have to charge a little bit to, to do this. So, um, I'm Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. I'm sure by now you know how to reach me. Thanks for watching, folks.